Ready to hit the road? Welcome back to Textination. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us is Adventure Genie CEO Scott Lengel. Hi, Scott. Hey, Fred. Good to see you again. Good to see you. We had a chance to chat a year or so ago. You're using technology to help people plan their outdoor adventures. You're on one right now. Give us the overview of how this works. Yeah, so uh, thanks for having us back. We're approaching our one-year anniversary at Adventure Genie. And effectively, the way our application works is we act as a co-pilot, a helper uh, to help you uh, design and plan a road trip. It's initially targeted at the RVer. And imagine if you were somewhere on the on the East Coast and you wanted to take a six week trip to the national parks of the Southwest. And you wanted to take maybe a northerly route out there and a southerly route home and you wanted to stop at great campgrounds that were a good match for you and find awesome things to do along the way and at each stop. And in the olden days, we used to use Google and many, many, many different apps. And we would stitch together a, a, a set of waypoints. We'd do a whole bunch of research. We'd have five or six or 10 different apps or websites open. It was kind of clunky. It was hard to do. It was painful. It was slow. And it was not customized to the user at all. It was just plain hard. And when you were done planning one of those trips, you just walked away from it kind of feeling like, wow, that was exhausting. I just want to go and have fun. I want to go on an adventure. I want to have a journey. It shouldn't be that hard to do it. And that's where Adventure Genie comes into play. You know, it sounds like oh, how much work it is to, to plan an, a trip like that. And I'm just imagining how much work it went into this to be able to put this into software to, yeah. to enable uh, making this easier. Yes. Yeah. So with the advent of AI, um, artificial intelligence, it's uh, robust. I, I wouldn't say easier from a software perspective, but absolutely easier from an end user perspective. And a lot of folks today are kind of scratching their heads around AI. They know about chat GPT and other tools that allow you to kind of ask some roundabout questions and get some generic responses. And they're trying to figure out how does it actually help them? Some people are actually a, a little bit leery of AI, like, oh gosh, is it gonna take over the world? We view it very differently. We view AI as uh, again, your co-pilot, your helper, your virtual assistant. And with AI, we're able to do the research for you so that you don't have to. Let's just take one example. If you're researching campgrounds or for folks that are staying in hotels or Airbnbs, one of the things you typically do is you go and look at all the websites that talk about that property. You look at and read all of the reviews and you get a wide variety, some that uh, you may trust, some that you may not trust. And you see folks that are giving things five stars down to one stars and they provide some verbiage and you're kind of scratching your head and you're trying to figure out how to make sense of all that. That's where AI can be hugely beneficial because with AI and with our algorithms and with software, we're able to read all of that information about a particular campground or a proper key. We can uh, discern the overall sentiment of what people are saying about it. And we could boil it down to a very simple paragraph that gives you a nice summary of that particular property. And that's where AI becomes your co-pilot, your assistant, your recommendation engine. Similarly, for properties such as campgrounds, we can, uh, based on what we learn about a user and what a user tells us. So a user might say, hey, if I'm gonna stay at a particular, uh, at campgrounds, here are my must have amenities. I have to have 50 amp. I have to have sewer and water. If it has a pool, that's nice. If it has a dog park, I don't care because I'm, I'm not a pet owner. So a user will tell us their preferences about where they want to stay and the more that they use our application use our application we will learn about 
what they like, what they don't like, and what they don't care about. And with that information and our AI, we are able to make a recommendation to each user very, very, very customized. When they find a campground, we have the ability to say to them, with a 79% likelihood, this is going to be a great campground for you. So it saves the user a ton of time from having to do that research and make decisions. And uh, we provide them with information that's very personalized to them. So, you know, some people would want to be places that are really kid-friendly, playgrounds and stuff. Some people don't care at all about that and maybe want to avoid it, right? So. It's exactly right. And, uh, you know, again, the more that they tell us, that's helpful. But even if they don't tell us that much, we're able to learn from their from their habits. And there's a sense of trust that has has to come there. If if I'm a user and I and I access software of this nature, um, there there has to be a, a an understanding that we're going to use this information to help them and use it for good and to make recommendations for them. And um, and we're finding that our user base and it's growing, it's grown considerably since we spoke last year, uh, is very trusting. And they're willing to take that leap because you can see beyond the, you know, the hype. You read the, the news articles about, ooh, AI is scary. It's really not that scary when you see it um, providing recommendations and guidance and doing the research for you. And you walk away with it with some valuable information and you say, wow. How long would it have taken me to find that out versus instantly available? Now, are you working with a, a mix of uh, public and, and private places to go? Yes, we are. Um, we, we at, like, from a campground perspective, we have over 25,000 campgrounds in our database. And it, it is absolutely ranging anywhere from a very comfortable, cozy local park, a municipal park, a state park, all the way up to high-end uh, resorts, parts of chains, one-offs, and everything in between. And that's where we're able to customize the experience for, for our users. Really exciting. So tell us about the your background again and the story behind this, why, why, yes. this, has, why this has come to be. Yeah. Um, so uh, after spending about 35 years in the technology industry, uh, I retired in 2017 from Microsoft, uh, where I spent 23 years. I was a CTO in one of the divisions of Microsoft. I decided with my wife, Lisa, to take some time off to travel the world. And we did for a while. I actually became a photographer and had some fun doing that, started a little business there. And of course, then COVID came. And so we were unable to fly and stay in hotels and take trains. And that was the point in our life where we said, you know what, maybe this is a good time to just travel the good old US of A. We had good friends of ours that were asking us for decades, literally, to go camping with them. We had never done that on our own. We did. And we rented an RV from RV Share, a great firm, and now a partner of ours here at, at Adventure Genie, by the way. And we absolutely loved it. And long story short, we ended up um, purchasing an RV, started traveling the Southeast where we live. Life was good until uh, Lisa had this brainstorm that we should start exploring the national parks of the West. And we found it to be incredibly difficult to figure out how to do that, where those national parks were, how to get there, where to stay. And we um, we got together with a, a set of uh, software developers, budding software developers from George Washington University that I was coaching and mentoring. And um, and. I, we we had them work on this as a senior capstone project. About halfway through their senior year, we realized that, holy cow, we, we have prototyped something that's better than what's out there on the market. And with the advent of AI, um, we could really take this, we could absolutely transform this, uh, this industry. And we believe that we're on the road to doing it. The uh, 
uh, user response has been phenomenal. When we go to trade shows, we always have the busiest booth. People are coming on board when they see what we can do because it's it really is simple to use. It's as simple as saying, hey, I'd like to take this trip from my hometown to Yellowstone National Park. Hey, Adventure Genie, plot a route for me. Find me logical stops to stay that have a concentration of campgrounds that are a good match for me. Make recommendations for those campgrounds and uh, help me to find things to do. You know that I like hiking and biking barbecue. Can you make recommendations along the way and at, at each stop for that? And, you know, what used to take hours, days, and even longer to plan a trip, we're able to do literally in minutes now. Just terrific. Now, you have a, a free basic plan and, and a pro plan. Tell us about the differences here. Yeah. So um, the free basic plan is, allows you to get full access to our uh, full campground database, to our uh, genie trips, which are a set of curated trips, and um, let you do a little bit of trip planning with a couple of stops here and there. But if you want full access to our AI, that's the pro plan. We do offer a free trial, by the way, a one month free trial. So you can go and sign up for 30 days, play around with it. You like it, you love it, continue. And then you move on to the annual plan, which is $49.99 a year. And um, that gives you unlimited access to um, any number of trips. Um, all of our AI capabilities, we call them genie journeys and genie wishes. So we help you to shape your trip with AI. We help you to find great campgrounds with AI. We help you to find great things to do with AI. And that's all part of, of uh, the pro plan. Tell us about where this goes in the future. I mean, the, the travel is changing to some extent. I mean, the, we don't have too many electric RVs yet, if, if any, I'm not, I'm not sure. But they're coming, certainly, and the people can all, all use an EV to, to tow to some extent these days. Yep. So what what changes do you see coming? Um, there actually are some prototype uh, uh, RVs that are starting to go a little bit hybrid or electric. I think that's still a little bit uh, down the road, you know, the, these... These beasts tend to be tens of thousands of pounds, and uh, it's a little little bit difficult to do that. But I'll tell you, we are seeing some, we're seeing more and more charging stations at campgrounds, and we're starting to see people that are towing their EVs to campgrounds. So uh, that's for sure. And in fact, in fact, uh, you know, no plug. I get nothing from this. My fun, my son just bought a Tesla, and they actually have a camping mode. And you could actually put a camp around it, and, and, it, and it's really, really, really cool. But what we're finding is that some of our users don't even have RVs, don't even have campers. You can absolutely use Adventure Genie today to say, I'm just taking a road trip from Atlanta to Seattle, make recommendations to stop along the way. Maybe you'll stay at an Airbnb, maybe you'll stay at a hotel or maybe you'll sleep in your vehicle and kind of turn it into a, a camper of sort and at adventure genie we call it adventure genie for a reason it's not camping genie and it's not rv genie while we absolutely started with this space because there's a massive need for it in the rv industry we have a vision for expanding this beyond the rv industry we could easily and it would not be that difficult for us at adventure genie to start adding things like, oh, I don't know, hotels and Airbnbs and glamping spots so that we open this up to the entire world of uh, travelers. Really exciting. So the place to go for more info, I think we know. AdventureGenie.com. Terrific. Well, congratulations on the innovations and safe travels. Scott Lengel, thanks for spending time with us. Thanks, Fred. Good to chat. <laughs>